A sister says, what dua must a girl recite to be safe from rapists? There isn't any specific dua for this cause. And I understand that the issue of rape is quite unfortunately common in some un-Islamic countries, especially in the subcontinent and elsewhere. And Islam has the answer to all of this. There isn't a specific dua for this, but there are duas in Athkar, the evening and the morning, that we say that we seek Allah's protection through and Allah would protect us with His grace, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and mercy. But Islam gives you the solution for rape. We see that a woman was raped in this country or that and was maimed, maybe tortured, maybe burnt alive, and then she died and the court takes long proceedings for years and maybe would acquit the convicts for one reason or the other. This encourages people to commit such a heinous crime. Alongside the fact that Islam orders women to be protective. They should wear the hijab, the proper hijab. And when a woman wears a proper hijab, most likely perpetrators would not look at her as an easy prey. Rather, they would look at someone who's flashing herself and putting ads, look at me. Now, I'm not justifying, but I'm saying that Islam protects women from such attacks. So if a woman is abiding by the hijab, if a woman wants to be protected from such a heinous crime, she's ordered not to go to dubious places, not to go in dark alleys, not to go alone, especially in an environment or in an area where she knows that she is vulnerable and not immune against such attacks. So Islam puts barriers. Islam encourages Muslims to come to the defense of such a woman if she were to be attacked. And we cannot just stand by watching what's happening or turn a blind eye and look the other way. Muslims have to f enforce, enjoin goodness and virtue and prohibit and prevent vice and evil. This is part of our religion. So, sister, in a nutshell, there isn't any specific dua to be said to be protected, but there are ways of protecting yourself. And secondly, you have to trust Allah Azza wa Jal. Fear can be negative and it can be positive. Fear is negative when it prevents you from progressing. So the fear of being raped, if it prevents you from mobilizing, from moving, from going out totally to legitimate things in broad daylight, this fear is negative. Yes, you can visit your family, you can go shopping, you can uh, visit friends and do normal things like normal people. But if this fear cripples you and stops you from going out for legitimate things, then you have got a problem. Now, having said that, you must also be aware that fear can be positive. So a woman or a sister who fears 
being raped, she takes the necessary means and trusts Allah and go ahead. So she is decent in her clothes. She doesn't apply perfume. She wears a proper hijab. She doesn't go into de dubious places or places that are dark or uh, uh, the possibility of being mugged are greater than others. She's usually accompanied by other women or a man uh, uh, to be with her, a mahram, etc. If she is in an area that infested by such crimes, and Allah knows best, may Allah protect all of us from such uh, fitna.